Okay, coaches, now we're going to talk you through Coach Staley, the defensive coordinator, James Madison University, what he calls skate. Okay, now skate is a three-by-one adjustment. Okay, and these are all, you know, match, skate, and flood are all pre-snap adjustments based on what the offense presents. Okay, so what you're going to see here, we're going to take you through a few clips. And coaches, if you like what you're seeing, if you want more of our drill videos, our full-length research reports, our full-length clinic reports, our practice cut-ups, okay, you can become an insider today at www.xandolabs.com. You're going to see trips to the field here. Okay, receiver here, receiver here, the tight end's over here. Okay, now in skate, it's a weak side safety rotation. Here's a passing strength to the strong side. So however you want to do it with these safeties, Coach Staley calls them left and right. You're going to get a weak side safety. Okay, he is eventually going to become a box player. Okay, so it's going to be a 4-2 box here. Of course, this is Pascal. You don't see the front four. Okay, the star or the outside linebacker is going to be the flat player, but he's matching any number two vertical, just like we discussed in the previous match concept. Okay, as this safety starts to rotate down, this is the most important player. Okay, and coach calls this three up. Okay, the three up defender, he is going to be responsible for taking any number three vertical route that's coming at him. Okay, excellent technique by the star right here, the outside backer. Okay, this player's in a press bail technique by that corner. This player has to push to number two. Coach Daly was very adamant about pushing to number two to make sure that the coverage surface, okay, is horizontally pushed enough that has enough width to defend these things. Okay, so as he's pushing to two, that's going to take his eyes to number three. If number three comes at him and continues to bend, he is going to roll with it. Again, he does have deep safety help, so he does have help. Okay, it's not specifically man coverage. He's going to be able to take care of that. Okay, now what happens here is he reacts off the quarterback's front shoulder, reacts off the radar, and he's able to drive on that. Okay, and he does know that there is deep safety help here. So he, if, if this receiver continues to push vertical, and that's a key coaching point. And that's something that we ask Coach Daly. If that receiver continues to push vertical, he does not have to carry him because of the deep safety help. Only if he starts to bend, okay, as most teams will do in a four vertical concept at a three by one. Now he has to turn and roll with it, and Coach Staley talks about that te technique in the full-length clinic report, okay, which you could find on the website. One more thing I want to show you about this clip. It's an excellent job by that corner up top. Okay, Coach will prefer to press that corner in skate coverage to make sure he's in the face of that number one receiver. Okay, and you have the opportunity to do so as well. It's not so much a bail technique. Okay, the flat player is a weak safety who rotates inside the box. Okay, now this is LSU Alabama. I wanted to show you this formation because this is a tight end to the boundary, okay, trips to the field. In this situation, Coach Staley calls this buzz. So instead of the rotation coming weak away from the passing strength, it's going to come to the passing strength. Now the benefit of that is that you're going to get three over three with the deep safety. So anytime you see teams that run the bubble to the trip side, okay, that run speed options to the trip side, run the zone read to the trip side to get an extra blocker for the quarterback, whatever you see, and now you're getting that rotation to the trip side and uh, we detail this as diagrammed up on the clinic report okay in PowerPoint but what's going to happen here is now the differences and you see this player right here this is the star okay usually the rotation comes away from the star in coach Staley's defense now it's coming to the star so he is going to rotate okay now you're going to get three over three to that side so there it is he does it post snap he is going to trigger right now here comes a bubble screen okay on number three Okay, somebody's going to be on block, coaches, as you know. Okay, well, whoever decides to block him here, okay, you're going to have one block in the corner, whatever, me, two block in the safety, and he's going to be able to trigger and be involved in the play. So it's just a good concept, especially if you see teams that like to run the bubble, even sprint out teams, okay, out of three by one with the back strong. Okay, now this last clip we're going to show you is out of uh, John Carroll. This is Coach Staley's team from last year. John Carroll was number one in the country in Division Three in total defense, 9.1 yards per game, did an ex 9.1 points per game. Did an excellent job with that unit. Okay, uh, best they've been in a long time over there. The rotation now is coming weak. Okay, so what's going to happen now by the time this thing shakes out? Okay, you're going to have that corner play, the divider technique. This is what we're talking about with this middle hooked player. He is three up is up. Okay, so he is going to handle any number three up that's going to roll to him. But the key is he's got to push to number two. 
That's his coaching point, his coach daily talked about, because that's going to get the width he needs to be able to see any number three that's pushing to his face. Okay, so corner is able to play a true thirds, so he's able to absorb that route. This is just a spot concept that they're showing right now. As he turns, he's going to turn and spot up at the quarterback, and he got a flat thread over here. Okay, the star is right in the window of the flat, shouldn't be an issue, but as he pushes to three, now you have a two-three exchange. He's going to become the final number three once this thing shakes out, and a pretty good job just sitting in that window. You see the star break on this ball, tremendous job by that player. So that is a good example of skate coverage coaches are very good, solid adjustments. Again, three-by-one sets that Coach Staley implements to defend spread teams. Coaches, thanks for logging in.